Hello folks, Luke Simons with you. Back to the basics 101. Normal ranch procedures. Everything is hectic. We got bulls out. It is very hot for North Dakota. What is it? 70? 80... 87. 87. We're dy dying here. I mean, cold, no big deal. Hot, oh, we're like southerners in wintertime here. Not used to this. Place is a wreck. Getting ready for vacation. But I, did I say bulls are out? I think I might have. And we have tire problems. But if you're set up for tires, it's not that big of a deal. I will show you how to change a tire very quickly. Not just change a tire, but put a new tire on a rim. Check it out, come along for the ride. is bad look it is tore up and the tire is like brand new look at that <laughs> anything surprise you anymore you seeing this or not but the tire is like <coughs> s-shaped I've never had that actually happen this is amazing move the valve stem cap and this is a nifty little tool just a little screwdriver that you can make really easily if you want to I bought that one okay this tire machine is a manual made by Harbor Freight broke our bead on that side and we might be able to push it yep we broke it with our foot on this side so we'll flip the tire now your tire has your rim has to ride right here obviously let's see if we have the same luck here oh she's a little more stuck so when it does that what you want to do is just move it. Sometimes if a tire has been on a rim for a long time, it will get sticky. So what you do is just move it around inch by inch and eventually it will break loose. So just work it inch by inch back and forth, back and forth, and you'll work the tire off the rim and eventually it'll pop. All right. So you just kind of work it around if it's stuck on tight, and eventually you'll get it. There's one thing I don't like about the Harbor Freight one, is it's built a little light. This has a tendency to tweak to one side, so you're constantly straightening it out. And I'm going to have to put some bracing in there is what I'm going to have to do to make that so it doesn't do that anymore. Now the one from Northern Tool, um, a little better quality. I would go with the one from Northern rather than Harbor Freight. My bead broke on both sides. I pop this through and then this little lever right here, I'm gonna pop that through and it's gonna go through the lug, like so. Then I take my star, which is the other thing that was very cheaply made on the Harbor Freight tool. And then, this is the other thing that was really cheaply made on the Harbor Freight tool. Now this is an old machine. How old do you think this is? Six, six, seven years old, probably six years old. So it is pretty beat up. And you just tighten it. They make it so it's pretty much a one tool machine. Now if you're gonna ranch or homestead, pick yourself up some of this stuff right here. This here, 
is the same stuff the tar the um, the tire store uses. My thing broke, so I just tied a wire to stick on there, the little wire that was on there. So I just wired a stick on. My lube, I just lube. Better, more lube, the better. And remember, that's just, you can buy that from like your, your tire store probably. They'll sell it to you. Pop up, bead is over the rim. There we are, phase one. Just make sure there's enough lube on there again. More lube, the better. And we're gonna go ahead and pop that through to the other bead, like so. And same concept. Junk tire. Throw a little bit of lubrication on the bead of the rim, and that just usually helps it sit good. My cows are mad at me because I have a trailer load. New used tire that I'm going to replace the old used new tire, and I'm just going to lubricate it up again. And I encourage you. To have a little spot set up in your, your shop or Quonset, because I will save typically a thousand to twelve hundred dollars a year on changing my own tires. You just want to start popping your tire. There we go. And then you put your knee here. And make sure not to hit the camera, lady. You do that, you have a mad wife, don't you, honey? Yep, that's what I was just thinking. And I've been bonked in the head before with these things. They don't feel good. And should be able to get it with one more time here. Oh, maybe not. Okay. And the only reason this is taking me this long is because I'm not used to this heat. You'll have your valve core and cap and everything right there waiting. And let's see if it'll take air. Maybe not. There we go. Let's try it again. Yep. Good. Not all the time does it take air like that. Never put your fingers in these areas like that because you'll you'll definitely feel it. You know, on the ranch here, you have to remember the lighting, the sound quality. This is all filmed live on a very short, low, low budget. I know I get a lot of complaints of people saying, why don't you up your game? But really, we don't get paid for doing this. Uh, I mean, we make a few bucks, but not really anything to speak of. Okay, take your core. Place that in full. Okay, now, if you're watching my show at all, you want to invest in one of these bad boys. This one's about wore out on the end, but the gauge still works, and I haven't broke down and bought a new one yet. But these are flat out awesome. Tells me how much air pressure I have in my tank, and how much air pressure I have in my tire. So, right now, I only have 50 PSI in my tire. That's how much I have in my tank and in my tire. We're gonna put about 65, 70 pounds in there. 
So we have about 70 PSI in there right now, exactly 70 PSI. And if you don't have one of these, you are missing out. Good to go. Now every once in a while, you'll hear a leak, and that's what you're hearing. Just tighten it up all the way. Sometimes it's loose a little bit, just needs to be tightened a little bit. And anytime I do a tire, I always make sure to check my, my valve stems. This one was okay. I have a whole tray of multiple different types of valve stems. So with my mixture of uh, old antifreeze and soap, Dawn dish soap, so it doesn't freeze in the winter time, I am checking for leaks on my new used tire because remember, my other tire, I found a bad leak and I wasn't able to repair that one because it was that bad. So this is where we're at. So we have no leaks on the tread. So let's try around the bead. I don't think we are gonna have any. And this is a big tire. Yep, this bead is good. Um, this is a really a big tire compared to the other one that was put on. And it's on a trailer, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but I did have to use starter fluid on this one to get it to seat on that rim. Okay, she is got no leaks. it's been one of those days the tire I originally put on if you noticed had a hole in it that you could almost you couldn't see it at first but uh, you could almost stick well you could stick the tip of your finger in it I don't know what I ran over with that tire but it didn't get labeled big deal so I ended up digging around scrounging around and found another tire and I made that one work Yes, I do have a spare tire on this pick on this trailer. However, I wouldn't have, and this is an 80 mile trip one way to the other ranch. So, and I'm doing two of these loads today. So it's been one of those days, but God is good. God is good all the time. I've never had a bad day given to me, but I've sure ruined a lot of them, but not this one. Happy trails.